Hello, I am Luke Bagel, Inside Sales Specialist here at Rexnord, and I will be teaching Rexnord.com Gear Drive Selector Tool. Rexnord's Gear Drive Selector Tool has been developed to utilize an application engineer's expertise to select and configure a gear drive quickly and easily using the end user's existing conditions to tailor a gearbox to fit your needs. The Gear Drive Selector Tool is useful to you because if you are given an overview of the application, but you aren't sure which exact drive you would like to use, you can provide us with that data and we will let you know which drive we would recommend. Once this is built in the selector tool, you can generate a quote, view the details on it, or even order it. Today I received a call. I'm working with a customer, they have a motor and they provided us with the information on it and they are looking for a right angle shaft mounted gearbox with a 50 ratio to accompany it. To start, please navigate to rexnord.com, log into your account. If you do not have an account, please view the registration training to get you set up. You will need to be logged into a rexnord.com account to use the full capabilities of the selector tool. Please remember, end users can create an account as well as our distributors. To access the gear draft selection tool, navigate to the resources tab on rexnord.com, then select selection tools. From here, we will select gear, right angle gear drives and gear drive selector. After clicking on the selector tool, we will be brought to the launch page for the selector. Now that the configurator has been launched, you can begin by filling out fields to configure your gear drive. This information should match the application you are installing the drive into. For this example, we will be using an electric motor at 1750 RPM. Ultimately, the following four fields are tied to the motor speed you select here. The next two fields are tied together in motor horsepower and input torque. If you already know either of these values, the other will be calculated. For this example, we will enter seven and a half under the motor horsepower. Notice that the input torque has been calculated based on our input. The next two data fields are desired ratio and output speed. These are also tied together. So you will only need to input a value into one of these fields. We will input 50 into the desired ratio and the configurator will calculate the output speed for us. The next is a drop down menu for you to select how the configurator will determine the service factor method. The options are AGMA class, application and industry, or a minimum service factor. Depending on what you select in this field will alter your options in step two. For this example, we will select minimum required service factor. Now you have the option to select the gearbox configuration. If you aren't sure which type of gearbox you would like, you're welcome to use all drives. We do know we want a right angle drive, so we will select all right angle drives. For input type, you have two options available, either a solid input shaft or C-face motor adapter. We will select C-face. Now we have to select the mounting style for the Ultramite. Note that the options may be limited by what we've already selected. For this example, we will select shaft mounted. We can go ahead and click the next button at the bottom of the screen. The second step in the process is where we specify the mounting position of the motor on the Ultramite drive. Depending on the configuration of the Ultramite you have selected, these options may be limited. For this example, we will select option two. Next, we will select the motor frame size. The configurator has selected the most common motor frame size based on our prior inputs, such as the motor horsepower and speed. For this example, we will select 213 TC. Since we've selected a minimum service factor in step one, we must now input that value here. We will input a 1.25 service factor. The next area, thermal adjustments, is critical to ensure the selected drive performs well in your application. If you know your gearbox will be running in extreme ambient conditions, increased altitude, or be running outside or in a confined space, this is the area to adjust the defaulted values to reflect your operating conditions. For now, we will leave the values at their defaults. We can click next and go to step three, which is the results screen. Here is where the configurator will present to you with three options, one of which is recommended and the two alternative options based on the values we have selected throughout this process. 
recommended option will match the values that we have inputted into the configurator, while the alternative options are allowed to deviate from our inputs slightly in order to ensure that the selected gear drive gives you the best value while following Rexnord's best practices in gear drive selection. If there are no options at the end of step three, you may have selected values that are outside the range of the product line. Please contact Rexnord Customer Care for assistance. We will select recommended option and click configure to proceed with step four. Step four allows us to add some additional features to the Ultramite and select low speed shaft options. The options in step four will change based on the available options for that selected drive. For the low speed shaft options drop down, as you can see, there are numerous options available to select. For example, we will stay with a straight hollow bore. The bore size is currently grayed out due to our current low speed shaft selection. The torque arm bracket position, we will stick with the torque arm bracket instead of the banjo torque arm. And we will stay with the right hand torque arm bracket position. Next, we can choose our low speed seal type, either a single or a double seal. For this example, we will select a double seal. Next, we will go to general product type. From here, you have the option if you would like Rexnord to supply you with a motor. If you select yes, you will be prompted to fill out the horsepower, the manufacturer you would like, and the conduit box position. For this one, we will just stick with no. After that, you have the selection to change the paint type. If your drive will be exposed to any extreme conditions or washdown conditions, here is where you would want to select that. We will stay with the standard. If we have any additional paint colors to choose from, you can change that below. Next is if we want the drive pre-filled with oil. We can make that selection here. For this one, we will stay with no. Next is the lubrication type. Depending on the application your drive will be installed to, you may need something other than standard lubrication to fit that application, such as food grade lubrication or synthetic lubrication. With our current configuration, we will stay with standard lubrication. The following two options are tied together, whether you want a backstop and if you do, what is the direction of the low speed shaft rotating. For this one, we will stay with no, we do not need a backstop. The last option is for premium breather and lubrication options. These are limited by the mounting positions we have selected and for us are grayed out. We can click next to continue. After we click next, the configurator is building our drive and is displaying our drive here. If you are logged into your Rexnord.com account, you can view the nomenclature, view the price, and the weight here. You can also add this to your cart where you can generate a quote, view inventory, or order this product there. We also have the option to email this configuration to ourselves. Scrolling down, we can view a 2D or 3D CAD rendering of the configured product. Once added to the cart, we are able to create a quote, add to a list, save the order, or continue shopping. Thank you for watching Rexnord's Gear Drive Selector video. For more information or documentation, please visit rexnord.com or subscribe to Rexnord's YouTube channel to stay up to date on all installation, maintenance, and all other Rexnord videos.